When you're running for your life in the back rooms, you'll probably try to hide anywhere that entities aren't gonna see you. Whether it's inside of a room, or inside of like a trash can, or inside of a bone thief. You're probably gonna try to hide somehow or another on your journey. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you why you should never try to hide inside of lockers, inside of the back rooms, even though they seem like a, a pretty good place to do so. In this video, I'm going to be going over level 898. This level is liminal, dangerous, mentally unstable, and crazy. So strap in, grab the popcorn, and let's get into it, shall we? Level 898 of the back rooms is classified as a class variable, and it's due to its safety and entity count and overall just layout being very diverse and very unpredictable at all times. Pretty much the entire level will get more dangerous the longer you stay in it. The level is an incredibly mysterious and unique place, and it takes the appearance of a school. The school is very empty, and it's almost like it's been abandoned or forgotten over the years. You just get that weird barren feeling from it, like nothing's been here forever. Almost like something's over your shoulder watching you at all times. There might be. More on that later, though. The level mainly consists of the school's hallways and classrooms, and the hallways themselves are lined up with lockers on both or one side, depending on where you are. The lockers have a layer of dust, and the entire level has this eerie stillness that cuts through the air. You feel like you have to whisper and not make any noises while walking through it, or something's gonna hear you. The only other things besides the hallways here are, are the classrooms, like I said, and then some few random staircases that'll pop in and out. These staircases lead to unknown places for the most part, and it's just a rule of thumb to avoid them. You know, they're dark and they give off this ominous feeling, they smell of mold and rot, and you probably just shouldn't go up or down them unless you have to. So when a wanderer enters these hallways, they'll actually start on a staircase itself, and it has multiple doors to the sides of it. Uh, the only problem is that these doors will not open, and they only go the one way, which is straight ahead of you, and that leads to a hallway the main hallway. Now the walls of the level are painted in this crunchy popcorn texture, and the ceiling is a tiled drop ceiling, like most real life schools are, at least in the USA. The lockers along the wall will sometimes have supplies in them, like almond water or food or notebooks or anything like that, and these same supplies can also be found inside of the classrooms in the level as well. There are also whiteboards and a couple of computers and all that kind of stuff in the classrooms as well, and even sometimes you might find a facelin in there studying. But just like the hallways, these rooms tend to have an eerie and empty vibe, and they're so quiet that every noise you make sounds like you're banging on a drum. There are also windows in these classrooms that can open up to the outside of the school. I say outside with air quotes, of course, because you can't actually know what's out there. It seems to be a grass field on all sides, but video recording devices and cameras do not seem to work when trying to photograph or record the outside. We really don't know what's beyond the field. Now, so far, I bet you're thinking that the level sounds really chill, just like a, you know, old abandoned school. How could it be dangerous? Unless you just hate schools. But now I'm gonna get into the dangerous part of the level. You're gonna wanna buckle up because this is where it gets really weird. So when you walk to the end of one of the hallways, specifically the hallway that you start on, a nearly exact copy of that hallway will appear on your left. And on your right, there'll be a stairwell, which will go up or down to yet another hallway. So the hallway to your left goes off in a different direction, and it does not loop back to the first hallway that you just came from. So it's not just like this big loop or circle or anything. It is different halls each time you get to the end of that hall. The copy will almost be the exact same, but it'll just slightly be different than before. Each difference is barely noticeable, and it could be as small as like there being one less locker, or a light being out in the ceiling, or a pencil being in the floor, something like that. Anyways, these repeating hallways are very confusing, and will cause wanderer sanity to slowly break down as they try to remember which way they went, and which way they're going, and if they're going in circles or not. And each time you go down a hallway or a staircase, your mental health and your sanity will get worse and worse and worse, and that's when the level's stages begin. So each new hallway is actually referred to as a loop, even though it's not a loop, and these loops can mess you up pretty bad. <laughs> stage one, or the early stage of the level's loop, starts with random pencils appearing on the floor, and binders and paper as well. 
Now this doesn't seem too weird at first, I mean, you're in a school, there's gonna be paper and stuff, but stage two's loops is when you get to the end of that hallway and go on to another hallway, the second copy. This is when clothing and trash cans will start to appear inside of these hallways and it'll become more muddled and jumbled up with junk. The level will then begin to decay more and more and the smell of mold and rot will get stronger and stronger. And you'll start to hear these really strange shuffling noises coming from over your shoulder. Like something's there, but when you turn around, there's nothing behind you. The later stages of the loops here will see the lights flickering and the floor being ripped and there being soggy holes in the ceiling and the ceiling itself will start to collapse and the entities on this level will begin to run around and run right past you and attack you. At this point, you'll feel mentally exhausted and physically as well from walking for so long and the entities can make easy work if, you, if you're not careful. So yeah, it's right here at this point when the level starts to be more decayed and rotten, the entities themselves will be the same. More dangerous, more decayed, more rotten. When all these entities start coming out, you'll feel like you just need to hide inside of a locker or a classroom. I mean, it seems like a good idea, right? You get in there, you shut the door, nothing can get you. Wrong! In these later stages of the looping halls and the distortion, an infestation event will occur and entities that are rare and unusual will start to appear. I'm not talking about your normal skin stealers or hounds or smilers, they'll be there, but I'm talking about the real dangerous ones that lurk in the depths. Like entity Ariana Membris, or this giant spider thing, lives here as well. And let me tell you, they're dangerous. They're large, seven to eight foot tall arachnid type entities that are extremely fast and agile. They seem to live in the ceilings above you, and when this infestation event starts, they drop down and will sprint up and down the hallways and staircases even, looking for food. If you try to hide from them, they'll smell you out and they'll eventually get you, and there's no point trying to run away because they're faster. If you jump inside of a locker and hide, you're risking jumping right into a smiler den, since it's pitch black inside the lockers and the smilers live in pitch black, you can guess how that's going to end for you. So to avoid this infestation and to avoid these crazy hall looping things, you need to get out of the level as fast as you can. To do so, you can find a small vent and crawl through it to get to a crawl space area and you'll be sent to level 19, or you can find a ladder inside the level somewhere and climb it up and you'll get sent out of the level as well. That one's more dangerous though, since you kinda gotta go deeper into the level, I would recommend just using the crawl space exit. Now to enter the level, you can get sent here from level 11 by just going into a schoolhouse, which kinda sucks because Level 11 is a safe level, and the fact that you can get sent to this infinite looping school hallway thing and get chased by giant entities after being stuck for days can really happen. That sucks, to be honest. It really does. Alright, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the level. Hope you enjoyed my yapping about 898. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Much love. Much appreciation. I'll see y'all later.